Hi, so I'm going to run through the lab that we did in class today. This is called the chemical, uh, observing chemical reactions lab. It's in the Google Classroom. I mistakenly put it in next week's stuff instead of this week's, but it's right here. There's the Google Docs that you're going to complete, and this is the Google Slides that I use to introduce it in the morning. So this is what I already have it open. Um, this is what it looks like, right? You're going to read the background information. We talk a little bit about um, um, Democritus and his um, and Dalton's atomic theory. And then we um, talked about what it means for, for a chemical reaction, like how can you tell when a chemical reaction is taking place, right? So, you know, things like if you see a color change or if you see bubbles or if you see a precipitation forming, uh, those are all indications of chemical reactions. And those are what you're going to be looking for today. So I have a little setup here with a camera. Uh, and I apologize, it's a little fuzzy because, um, you know, in order to get this close, it just doesn't... Um, um, focus very well, but I will take a picture of um, of the you know the whole setup once everything is done. So I got some um, powder zinc here, right, and then I got some chemicals and these um, pipettes, which is stored inside a um, uh, cassette case, which I'm going to use it as a stand right here. And this is a grid that I'm going to be using to um, make sure that we have all different combination of the reagents here. So we're going to be mixing um, hydrochloric acid, uh, copper sulfate, potassium iodide, lead nitrate, and zinc metal. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start by just kind of putting in, oh, I'm going to actually start with the zinc because um, and it, I, I found that it works best when you put the reagents on top of the zinc instead of putting the zinc on top of the reagents because otherwise uh, the chemical reaction is happening um, uh, at the surface and if you put the zinc on top all the reaction is happening underneath it and you can't really see it very well and a lot of the students were saying that they don't want seeing anything um, but um, when I did it which is I put the zinc in first, I could see all the reaction that was happening. So, right. By the way, some of these are not going to have any reactions. So um, just, you know, you'll, you'll be able to recognize that as well. So on the, uh, on, the, on the second to last column, it looks like it says lead nitrate. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do all the columns first. So this is a lead nitrate. I'm just going to just one drop. One, one, one. Okay, so that was my lead nitrate. Um, next one is potassium iodide. So that's this one. One and one. And then next one is copper sulfate, which is this kind of light blue color solution here. I'm going to drop there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the uh, reagents going across. Let's do hydrochloric acid first, right? I'm going to put it on the zinc. I'm going to put it in the lead nitrate, put it in the potassium iodide, and I'm going to put it in the copper sulfate. All right? It doesn't look like much is happening, but um, if you actually look very carefully, you, you should see like there are bubbles forming. And again, I'm going to take a, a closer look at the picture uh, so that you can see it a little bit better because um, it's in this camera, you can't really see very well. All right, next row is copper sulfate. So let's do that. I'm going to put a drop of copper sulfate here. Okay. And just do another one. All right. And then one here. And one here. Yeah, okay. Oh, you can see some color developing there. Right. And this one is a little hard to kind of, you know, make out, but... Um, you can see some of the black that's forming underneath. See, so when I put the drop in, some of the zinc ended up floating. And the one that's floating, you can't really see what's happening because it's at the surface. But one that's actually sunken on the bottom, which I don't know if I can even make it sink. I wonder if I touch it a little bit. Okay. You can see that it's darker. Now this one's contaminated. Okay, next is potassium iodide. So I'm going to put a drop of potassium iodide in each one. Potassium iodide there. All right, and right there. Ooh, look at that. All right, hopefully that doesn't end up touching because that would be bad. I don't want that to mix. All right, and the last one is uh, lead nitrate. There is lead nitrate, which is the pink one, this one. Okay, 
So let's see what's going on here. All right. So this is what we observe. Okay, again, I should not shake it because I don't want that to touch, All right? Um, there's actually, like I said, bubbling happening here, right? This, the part that actually sunk inside the droplet turned black. Nothing much is happening in this one, okay? In this one also, the one that has sunken in is black, right? And if you actually look very carefully, and again, I have to take a closer picture for you to see this, there's actually crystals forming inside. The, the particles actually looks kind of fuzzy because there's tiny light, little crystals that are forming. All right, you see yellow here, right? And this also turned kind of brownish color, right? Now, because these are on white paper, um, it's... Um, if there are any white things that are forming, it's hard to see. So let's move this so you can see it against the black um, lab table to see if you see any changes. And again, a little hard to see, but what I actually see here, inside here are little white crystals, right? That's what makes it kind of cloudy, um, white, white looking on, on the camera. And then in this one, you can um it's kind of cloudy white. You can't really see the individual particles. It kind of looks, you know, like a little milky white, right? This one, I don't see much change, not much change here, right? So I see chemical changes that happens here from the bubbles. This turned black, not much here, this turned black. This one, white precipitate, but large like crystals big enough to see. I also see white precipitates here, although they're much smaller, so it makes it look kind of cloudy. Yellow precipitate. Right, this one, nothing here. This one is um, kind of this brownish, um, looks like it makes, it's actually a precipitate, it's not a solution because I can, it's, it's opaque, right? And then not much happening there. So in terms of your, um, and here, put it back on the grid again so you can see where they were, where they all came from, right? Again, a little hard to see because the, the camera is a little fuzzy, all right? So, um, uh, so you're gonna write your observations in these boxes, right? Uh, to the, in the corresponding boxes, and then you're gonna answer these questions. Hi. So these are the photographs that I took of the reactions that I uh, we did, and um, here's the whole thing, right? So again, you can see you can't really see much happening here. Maybe you can make you can a little bit make out the precipitates here. Uh, there are bubbles forming here, but it's hard to see in this view. Uh, definitely some color change here. Not, can't see too much here. You can see that the zinc has turned black where the ones that has sunk. And then um, you got yellow precipitates and you have not much happening here. And then um, also the ones that have sunk in has turned black, but it's actually looking kind of fuzzy. Let's see if I can find uh, another picture here. So I got a little closer with this one. You can really see that there is something growing out of the, the zinc that has sunk in. So these are crystals forming. So there's definitely some chemical reactions happening here. And you can see also here that it turned black, but it didn't form these, you know, didn't grow as much crystals as here, but you can see that there's something happening there, right? Uh, this is with the black background. And now I can really see that these, these two have some uh, white precipitates that formed, right? So um, these are larger crystals that formed and these are much smaller um, and yeah. And you can see, oh, see here also that it wasn't just a um, uh, a color change, but it's actually a yellow precipitate uh, form that's making this yellow color. Okay, and then I have a close up of the um, the zinc and hydrochloric acid, and now here you can really see the little bubbles right forming. Um, so yeah, so those are the um, the chemical reactions that we saw today. Okay, so that's it. Take care. Bye bye.